People talk so much about what to do. He just does it. Almost a father figure to me. Because he believed in all of us. I guess he just never lost uh, faith in me where he's like, at some stage I'll get this kid to graduate. He provided me an opportunity here in 1991 and in 2017 I'm, I'm, I'm a better person for it. My name is Brian Sweeney. I went to Mercy College from 1992 to 96 and the first thing that I, that I wanted to do was play baseball. That's all I'd ever wanted to do. Mr. Judge, he did his job and, and let us do what we had to do. Helping everybody understand how important it was for the overall experience at Mercy College as an athlete to enhance their education at the school. Teamwork, your friends, and just being a part of something that's bigger than themselves. He had pictures of all student athletes on the wall. I asked him, Mr. Judge, why, why do you have these pictures on the wall? He said, these are all the athletes that have graduated. He says, I want you to be on that wall one day. And even after I left to play baseball and I'd come back and visit, he said, I'm still waiting for you to get up on the wall. His biggest message for us was that we were student athletes and the student always came first. If we had a bad game, he didn't give up on us. If we stayed out too late because we were in college, he found out about it. But we were still gonna take that test at eight o'clock in the morning because at the end of the day, when our athletic career ended, there was gonna be something else for us. How many people he helped? It's for me, you know, That's what I wanna do, you know, and tried to do. My name is Darrell Bullock, class of 1973, and I was in the first class of freshman men admitted to Mercy College. He asked me then in uh, 1976 if I would coach a cross country team. He knew I was an avid runner, pretty good runner too. He challenged us as coaches to recruit good students. He also encouraged us to be good campus citizens. He brought those skills to the workplace every day. The big brother I never had, but wish I had. He really embodied what college athletics was like here at, you know, at Mercy. I got the impression from the students that they were tutored, usually by other athletes. We were recognized for the high GPA for our students. The retention rate in the athletics program was among the highest of any group at Mercy College. He wanted so much for them, and he was willing, you know, to do whatever it would take. You know when he started here? I washed the uniforms for the teams. There was nobody who did that. He would go out and line the fields. Nobody lined the fields. Picking kids up, he said, he told me not to say that. Because on CAA room, rules, you weren't supposed to like pick a student up who didn't have a ride to school, an athlete. But he picked them up to get them to school. <laughs> we just sit around, talk about the old times. He was the one man show with all of them, making sure that they were gonna be successful. School is a four-year process. For me, it was 12. <laughs> and, and as the saying goes, lots of people go to school for 12 years. They're usually doctors. As you can see, I'm not. I'm a bartender. I started in 93, went to school for two years, dropped out of school, started business. And in uh, April of 2003, Mr. Judge had came to me, had said, you're one of the few uh, Irish guys, you, 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 pretty much the only blemish on my record with the Irish guys in regards to graduation. Would you have any interest in coming back, or maybe leading the program for a little while? You know, it's like being asked something by the Pope or, you know, by the President. It's like, oh, of course I'll come back, Mr. Judge, I'll whatever, whatever you need me to do. He got me back into school after uh, eight year absence, 
Um, I came back to Mercy and graduated with a bunch of my players in 2005. It was uh, the best thing probably I ever done. So sing me the songs of our gold and silver days. days what Mr. Judge taught me, the, the quiet leadership, the hard work, uh, the dedication to, to, to your profession, to, to baseball and to my education and to finishing the job. We were happy just the same. We have such a small community at Mercy College. Everybody knows one another, and we care for one another. And that's why I came back to finish. Sing me the songs of our gold and silver. Yeah, I just watch how he lived and how he worked with people. How could you not love that? Uh, within a day or two of this, of this, of this uh, event, right, I'll be 65. I've known him since I was 18. I asked him to be my best man, and he gave me a big smile and a big hug. You know, the family, the family to me. Say. Sing me the songs of our gold and silver days. Mr. Judge, on behalf of all the Irish student athletes, I uh, would just like to say congratulations on your award tonight, and uh, more importantly, thank you for everything you've done for all of us. Sláinte. Congratulations, Mr. Judge!